relive the action from the second leg of Australia's World Cup qualifier playoff against Syria that was played at ANZ Stadium in Sydney. Australia vs Syria World Cup qualifier playoff second leg FT Australia 2 Syria 132 on aggregate live blog 10.40pm Milligan on the next round of the WCQ playoffs I think the next round will be a different type of match. We're very excited to go through but we know there's a lot of work still ahead of us. Milligan pays tribute to tough Syria 10.39 p.m. Milligan on the poor pass which led to Syria's opening goal IDIDNT mean to do it. It was a loose pass, could have hit Tommy a bit harder. But you have to get on with the job and for the most part one did. 10.38 p.m. Milligan on the match they fought with everything they had they were outstanding, they were hard to break down. Our boys worked very hard we know what we're capable of and we knew it was just a matter of time. 10.35 p.m. Full-time Australia defeat Syria 21-32 on aggregate they progressed the intercontinental playoff. 10.32 p.m. The free kick by Al Soma hits the post. Ryan had his left paw stuck out but that thing had some venom. Very lucky for the Socceroos, but the Syrians can't believe it. Hands on hips, shoulders slumped. That was it. Socceroos survive late scare 10.31 p.m. Free kick for Syria on the edge of the box. Nervy times for Australia 10.29 p.m. Real gutsy challenge from Dijinic. With just a few minutes left in the match a counter-attack is on the right flank and they take it in the penalty area. Then cool as a cucumber the Socceroos defender goes in for a tackle. It's clean and the gets the ball. No penalty, just good technique. 10.27 p.m. Syrian bench going absolutely bonkers at the officials. Cruz receiving treatment for cramp 10:20 p.m. G O A L L L L L L L L L L L L L A U S T R A L I I I I I I A A A A A Tim the head Cahill gets the Aussies ahead 21 Cruz popped one up into the danger zone and after being a bit ordinary with his crosses all night he finally gets it right Cahill goes up for it and squeezes it past the goalkeeper he didnt even get to punch the corner flag because the entire team swamped him. Great scenes. Cahill delivers for the Socceroos. Again 10.17 p.m. Jurek taking the initiative with a shot on goal from the edge of the box. Low strike. Easily dealt with though. He is the guy that delivered the impossible cross that led to the winner for the Socceroos at the Asian Cup, so maybe he'll be the X-Factor in extra time again. 10.16 p.m. back underway in the second half. 10.15 p.m. extra time. Halftime 10.13 p.m. What a save from the Syrian goalkeeper Alma somehow keeps out Rukavitsia's little flick on from the near post. Beautifully curling cross from MOOY drop right onto Rukavitsia's right boot, but it's batted away. Australia again with more of the chances in extra time but struggling to make them count. 10.11 p.m. Cahill leaps up for the floating ball, but he fouls the goalkeeper in the attempt. 10.10 p.m. Syria make a break behind the Socceroos defenders but he takes a few too many steps and sends the shot well wide across the face of goal. 10.05 p.m. Looks like AFC officials are passing on a message to the Syrian coach to stop his players wasting so much time while getting medical attention. Another Syrian player just went down, and he's shaved at least two minutes of extra time off the clock. He finally was escorted off the pitch, then had a drink of water and ran at full pace back to his bench. Syria waste time 10.02 p.m. sub, house, 6 minute ET Tommy Jury comes on for Tom Rogic for the Socceroos, 10.01 p.m. red card, SYR, Almawas, 4th minute ET Mahmoud Almawas already had a yellow card, and just got his second after stomping on Cruz's feet in a tackle. Instant red Syria now with 10 men. Also the slowest walk to the sideline of all time. Time wasting has been ridiculous from Syria. Socceroos go a man up 10 p.m. Rukavitsia with a clear shot on goal after a nice through ball behind the defenders. The flag stayed down despite protest from Syrian players but the Aussie couldn't beat the keeper with a low strike. 9.57 p.m. Syria kick off in extra time. 9.55 p.m. Bizarre development. Referee change first official Rishan Armatov is injured so the fourth official is stepping in for extra time, 9.51 p.m. Full time extra time to come 9.48 p.m. Sub, SYR, 90th minute Osama Omari come on for Mardik Mardikin, 9.45 p.m. A great chance again for the Socceroos they ding it around the box with Syria crowding the area, Rukavitsia elects not to shoot in some space on the left and instead tees up Rajic who misses the target, 9.44 p.m. Yellow card, SYR, Alma was 79th minute cruise got collected by Almawas and the ref showed no hesitation in showing him yellow. 9.42 p.m. Mardikian milking his cramp for everything it's worth. Dijenik is frustrated and tries to help him, but the Syrian trainers rush in and tell off to Socceroos defender. Several minutes of time wasting later and the stretcher comes out.
Mardikian goes off and would Antio know it, he jumps straight back off the stretcher once over the white line, Syria time-wasting frustrates Australia 9.38pm both teams just swapping possession with no real attacking effectiveness in the last few minutes. Socceroos are not making the most of their chances in good position inside Syria's half. Cruz in particular with some really average deliveries from the left 9.29 p.m. Rajic has a shot from the free kick on the edge of the box after that rough challenge on Lecky, but he can't beat the wall. 9.28 p.m. Sub, house, 73rd minute while Lecky receives some treatment after getting his ankles chopped, Nikita Rukavitsia comes on for James Troisi. 9.25 p.m. Amazing set of chances there for the Socceroos. Tom Rizic had two cracks at goal, one in trying to finish off a through ball, and the other a curler from just inside the area, but unfortunately it sails off target, Rajic misses two chances 9.16 p.m. sub, SYR, 60th min for Azal Khatib goes on for Oday Al Jaffel of Syria, 9.15 p.m. Lucky with a nice header but it drifts wide. Flew high above the pack to get onto that glancing header, but just off target, 9.11 p.m. Rajic takes a chance from distance and copped a fair whack from a Syrian player for his efforts but it's easily taken by the keeper. That ball was wobbling through the air though, with a lot of power behind it, 9.05 p.m. MOOY curls it around the wall a few meters outside the box after a free, but the Syrian goalkeeper Ibrahim Alma has it covered, 9.04 p.m. Yellow card, SYR, Mardikian, 48th minute 9.02 p.m. Second half underway 9 p.m. Both teams are back on the pitch and ready for the second half 8.50 p.m. Some halftime stats courtesy of AFC. Australia dominating in all areas but still struggling to get ahead. Check out that passes stat in particular, 394 to 99, 846 p.m. halftime, 845 p.m. Aussies. Appeal for a handball by Syria just in the top left corner of the area. Crowd not happy about that, no call, 844 p.m. One minute injury time added, 841 p.m. Yellow card, house, Milligan, 42nd minute, 834 p.m. Rajic has a shot from the top of the box but it's wide right had the keeper diving just in case though. Some hot sauce on that one, did well to latch onto it with the ball bouncing around as he connected, 8.30 p.m. Lucky cuts to his left and shoots B-U-U-U-U-T another nice save from Syria. Had some power in that one, took two grabs for the keeper to bring it in. Lucky takes a shot 8.27 p.m. A couple of great chance for the Socceroos the last few minutes inside the box. Cahill almost found the net for a second time after MOOY put a deft pass to Troisi inside the area, who then crossed it to Cahill but he couldn't quite put his boot through it and the Syrian goalkeeper was able to make the save, to allow his defenders to clear it on the goal line. Cahill can't finish chance 8.25 p.m. Yellow card, house, lucky, 26th minute soft challenge, but the red obviously didnt like it, 8.21 p.m. Wow, nervy moment at the back with Socceroos defender Milos Degenic playing a game of chicken with Al Soma closing in. Successfully shepherds it so Ryan can collect it safely, 8.18 p.m. Beautiful shot on goal from distance by James Troisi, forces a great stop from the Syrian keeper diving to his right post. It's a corner for Australia but it's defended well, 8.12 p.m. Goal, Aus, 13th minute Tim Cahill connects on a beautiful header whipped in by Matthew Leckie who used his speed to run down the right flank. Cahill heads it down to the right corner, and it bounces into the net. Nothing the Syrian goalkeeper could do to stop that one from such close range Cahill equalizes for Socceroos 8.09 p.m. Sub, house, 11th minute Postacoglo forced to use an early substitution with Brad Smith in discomfort. Aaron Mooy is on 8.06 p.m. Goal, SYR, 6 minute nightmare start for the Socceroos. Syria pounce on a mistake from Mark Milligan in midfield. Around halfway he collected it and lazily passed it to his left. Syria swooped on it and streaked away with very little pressure from our defenders, a nice through ball to Omar Al-Soma flying through into the left side of the box and from close range he buried it into the net over the top of Socceroos keeper Matt Ryan. Syria strike first against Socceroos 8pm the Aussies kick off to start the match. Here we go 7.58pm a reminder of the starting lineups for both teams tonight. Rishan Ermatov is the match referee from Uzbekistan. Second, third and fourth referees also from Uzbekistan, 7.56 p.m. The team's lineup for the national anthems. Decent Syrian fanbase in the crowd in Melbourne singing along with the visitors, 7.52 p.m. Here they come out of the tunnel not long till kickoff now, 7.42 p.m. Lucky speaking about that penalty given to Syria in the first leg of the playoff in Malaysia. At first I thought maybe we were getting fouled but then I saw the ref point to this spot. We were jumping up and down, I think at the time when I saw the replay I was laughing because I was in such disbelief that he gave the penalty. 
It was just a friendly, contested header. 7.37 p.m. Pasta Coglo pregame on the attacking lineup. Hopefully they're all in the box trying to score goals. That's the intent. Tonight, take the game to the opposition from the start. 7.36 p.m. Pasta Coglo pregame on how MOOY reacted to the news of not being in the starting lineup. It's par for the course here. It's not the first time he's missed a game. He's no different to any other player. 7.22 p.m. Here's the full lineup for Australia ahead of tonight's match. 7.15 p.m. In case you missed it, Socceroos coach Ange Pasta Coglo has made a big change ahead of the playoff against Syria, benching Aaron MOOY and starting Tim Cahill. 7.10 p.m. Check out what former soccer Miles Stryavsky had to say ahead on today ahead of Australia's match against Syria.